Hey folks, my name is Matthew. Um, I'm with the Cowboy Camping that I've been uh, explaining to my end direction videos. I'm here to describe the product, the Coleman Big and Tall Sleeping Bag. Um, this is Coleman right there and the Big and Tall is right there. It is 39 inches by 81 inches. It fits up to people 6 feet and 4 inches. I'm actually 6 foot 1. Um, and what's nice about this one, it actually tells you a comfort zone on the box of where it is. Between 20 degrees to 40 degrees is a comfort zone. Um, my parents have two sleeping bags that are similar to this. Uh, they're a little bit more heavier. We've slept in them a couple weeks ago when it was 80 to 90 degrees outside. Uh, they got a little humid and wet in the daytime, but we had a fan which I recommend people getting for their tents. It can be a small fan or big fan to blow on the sleeping bags at night. Um, by the time we went to bed, they were nice and dry and they were very comfortable. Um, but the other thing I'm gonna show you on the box before I start getting into any other kind of details is that this comes with a no snag zipper, which is really nice. It's uh, roll, the roll is really con controllable, which I'll show you later in the video. And same thing again, this is wrap and roll. And the wrap and roll is really easy, which my fiance uh, will be helping me out with too. But anyways, getting to the point, this is how it comes pack packaged up. Um, you open it up. This is just one of them that we have, uh, one of them we have right now. Comes nice and plastically wrapped up. They will not be this tight ever again once you unroll them uh, just because these are factory wrapped so don't expect you know them email the company and say hey I can't get it to be as small as you know it originally came in it's gonna fluff out these are machine airtight sealed packages um, so if you want to get it to be this small pretty much you'll have to go buy a fifty thousand dollar machine that will suck the air out and package just like this um, when you take it out of the box and you unwrap it and unroll it, it comes out to looking like this, which is very nice. And the bag that's wrapped around it is here. When you untie the bag and you unroll it, this is what it comes out looking like. Uh, what's nice about these sleeping bags is that they are all cotton. They're not, um, I'm not sure what they're called, vinyl um, or polyester. Uh, they're not the, the silky type material uh, like my shirt is here. It's a, it's a like a polyester shirt um, I don't like those because I tend to Feel like they're too noisy whereas uh, these cotton ones are very breathable. They're very comfortable and they're very easily To sleep in I know I'm not getting my English right so I do apologize um, What we bought two of these for is that we're gonna open them both up I'm not going to do it in this video, but we have a queen cot and we're going to open both up and we're going to tie them or zip them together at the bottom of the feet, which will end up giving us a queen size quilt, which will be nice. Um, now, if you look here, this is where they're talking about the no snag zipper. This little red piece here that they added on, this is probably one of the smartest inventions for sleeping bags ever. The older ones that my mom and dad have were, are probably about 10, 15 years old. And they're still in good condition but every time you zip and close them it gets snagged on the littlest fabric because if you look here like when you zip them sometimes the fabric gets closed into it like that and you can tear holes and everything it just gets to be really annoying and you end up saying words that you wish you never have said so on this one i'm going to demonstrate it's really nice because i can open it up really nice and easy if i want to close it i can close it really nice and easy no snags inside, no snags on the outside. It's really nice. So the important thing is to not break this zipper. And what's nice about the Coleman product is that if anything does break or rip within the five year warranty that they have that comes with these sleeping bags, they will replace or they will help you get your situation fixed. They have helped us in the past and we are very pleased with that. So anyways, and so I'm gonna open it up here I'll show you the inside. It's all cotton, like I said. It's very fluffy and very comfortable. Um, it comes with a little pocket. And this pocket here is made for cell phones or little handheld lights or emergency items that you need to be put in here. 
I do not recommend anyone ever to put anything with a sharp corner or knives or scissors or anything that can stab you at night in here. Um, more or less, it's, I would say you can put band-aids in there, you can put a uh, little tape in there, uh, foams, like I said, little LED lights, or even just a little bottle of hand sanitizer, or even just a little bottle of water if you can find the little carry case ones. Um, you don't want anything really excessively big or heavy in there because you want to sleep comfortably. Um, other than that, they are very comfortable. I'm six foot one, so I still have three feet, or three inches, I'm sorry, three inches to spare with my feet. And more likely, I do not like to sleep on the edge with my head. I actually like to sleep my head over the edge. So this is gonna be a very awesome mattress or sleeping bag for me. That being said, my fiance now is gonna pause the video for a second and she's gonna help me roll this up and we'll show you how to roll it up really nice and easily. Okay, so here's the sleeping bag folded over. What we did is we kept this bag type here on the bottom and then we just rolled it over on the side like that. Um, and then also I want to show you real quick that there is these little clips right here like this uh, And you can if you wanted to you can stick them in the hole She's not going to do it because I don't want these closed up tight like this But what you can do is you can actually put those through the loops and it would hold the sleeping bag closed But now she's going to show you how to roll it up and close it And as she's rolling it if you pay attention she's trying to keep a really nice tight fit you don't want these like super fluffed out um, and you don't want to roll these on dirt or anything because of how much pressure you are putting them down on there, it's gonna get dirty. So if you can do these on a picnic table or uh, inside your tent, that would be better. But as she's rolling it, she's holding it nice and tight and then she rolls it all the way to the edge. All right. And as you can see that there's the there is these little strings here and that's what makes this a carrying case and you can tie them nice and tight like what she just did and you want to make sure that this handle is facing up you don't want to roll that inside the bag or you're going to have a hard time carrying it and like i said once you take it out of the box it's not going to look the exact same. But as you can see, she's carrying it and it stays in there nice with those strings held up together and it works out perfectly. So that is the video of how we explained everything on the sleeping bag. Uh, it is, like I said, it is called a Coleman big and tall sleeping bag. Uh, it's a really nice product. It's meant for six foot four, uh, four people. Um, you can find it on Amazon or you can find it at Fleet Farm or any other sponsored products or sponsored stores of Coleman. Um, I will not name the price of it because we got a really good deal on it. I did not get this free from Coleman and I did not get any kind of credit from any other sponsors or anything like that because I am not asking for any, anything for donations or anything like that. Uh, more or less, I'm doing these videos to help you learn and get the best products you can for your experience in tent camping or RV camping, uh, whether you're a city person or a country folk like myself. Um, the best thing I can tell you right now is that this product works best from probably mid to early spring all the way out to about mid or, fall, mid or late fall. Um, late fall is kind of pushing it. It's rated to, I believe, to about, uh, I think it said 20 degrees in the description. Um, I've slept in sleeping bags like this uh, down to about 35 degrees at night and I've uh, kept really nice and warm. Um, I wouldn't really push anything past minus 30, uh, below 30 degrees at night. Uh, if you want something that's a little bit heavier and a little bit uh, stronger to keeping you warm in the winter months, uh, Coleman does sell a sleeping bag that is graded to a minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit to a 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, like I said, this is an all cotton sleeping bag. It's a very good product. Um, I'm not looking to make competition for other companies out there. This is the best one I found on the market for what we need it for. Um, I can't tell you exactly what you're going to like and what you're not going to like, but 
this is a, a good idea to have even for summer it works because like I said it's very breathable um, the nylon sleeping bags are nice but uh, like I said they're just a little bit too no noisy for me and I feel like I sweat them too much sometimes but um, give or take for mountain hiking they actually can be a perfect sleeping bag for those kind of trips um, so if you have any questions or con concerns or comments that you would like to make uh, you can email me and I will have my email in the description of the video um, I ask everyone who does comment on this video to please like and share and um, give give anybody that uh, ideas if they want to email me I can help them all with different products I can look it up by Google and I can tell you exactly I have, a lot, I have over 31 years of camping experience um, and I have many different items and products of camping that I take along with me on my camping trips um, we're actually considered glampers now more or less than campers but we use a tent camping and we have a really big tent and I will get more product videos out there as we get closer to our camping trips and future camping trips. Um, but last but not least, if you do comment or say or send me any email, uh, emails, please no racism or bigotry comments on anything. Um, I want to try to keep these videos as respectful and clean as possible. I know there's going to be haters out there and I know there's going to be likers out there, but we want to try to keep this as clean as we can. We're not out there to piss anyone off or make anyone mad or have any competition with any products. We are more or less making these videos to help you with your camping experience. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, my email will be in the link in the description. Uh, like and share and follow me for future videos and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will enjoy the next ones are coming up too. Thank you very much.